When I say this film is wild, prepare to be flabbergasted as the film truly warns you about what you're about to watch. The film Rubber is a thrilling experimental film by the always rule-breaking French director Quentin Dupier. It follows a car tyre that comes to life and undergoes a ravenous killing spree. The narrative alone sounds insane, but it's only the beginning. When creating this film from interviews I have looked at, there is zero reason behind him creating his films or messages behind them. As someone who created this film for the fun of it, to me there are undertones of himself challenging Hollywood from the way he is constructing his films to the messages being displayed throughout. Looking at the role of films, they're a way to escape into the world while observing the narrative or world playing before you. When observing films as described by Michael Trapp, it's like dreaming in the night. The film world becomes a sealed reality that we observe and mostly wanting not to be taken out of. However, this film from the start reminds you this is a film and consistently takes you out of the film realm. The opening scene takes the audience out of the film realm by breaking the fourth wall. As described by Martin Glynn, breaking the fourth wall is when a character directly addresses an audience or actively acknowledges that the character in action going on is not real through breaking character or through dialogue. Breaking the fourth wall hereby removes the invisible barrier between the two worlds, ours and the films, removing the escapism that this form of media provides. Films and TV do use breaking the fourth wall, though mostly for comedies like Deadpool and Fleabag. It works to bring in the audience on the joke, elevates characters and tells us crucial information. Though in rubber, the breaking of the fourth wall is just a way to yell at audiences, hey, this is a film and nothing that's going to happen will make any sense. Within the opening monologue, the police officer takes a jab at Hollywood films, highlighting that in every film there's always an element that just does not make sense. Within films such as E.T., The Pianoist, Chainsaw Massacre, Getting Targeted, the opening of Rubber ends telling audiences The film you are about to see today is an homage to the no reason. Therefore, breaking the fourth wall, acknowledging it's a film and taking aim at Hollywood films within this one sentence, as Ian Buckwater states, that when watching this film, if you ever find yourself thinking that something doesn't make sense, don't bother searching for an explanation. There isn't one. I don't feel a thing. This is highlighted with the police officer emerging from the car boot. The almost prologue for the first five minutes perfectly captures what the rest of the film is like. The film becomes meta as the camera pans around to the police officer, not talking to us, but to a crowd that is watching him holding binoculars. We find out they are here to watch the film in their real world. I know, it's confusing. The crowd is intertwined throughout the first half of the film with their commentary throughout the film, almost like playing us as the audience. This further takes audiences out of the escapism of this film and consistently reminds us that everything we are witnessing is fake. The reason behind this is for personal reasons, stating that in his first film it was a flop with nobody seeing it meaning putting spectators in the movie was a good way to have spectators and control them. When it came to promoting this film, this segment was not shown and was displayed as a mainstream Hollywood crazy killer flick. You can tell when watching this that the killing tire segment slash story is there's not much there and is another segment of no reason as the cleverness and rule breaking happens in other sections. He has advertised it in a way to get audiences into seeing this film by being unique but blending into other traditional trailers, missing out on large sections of the film that at its core will confuse audiences. The audience throughout is left confused and baffled by what they are watching. Similar to us, we have grown slightly accustomed to predictable and non-thought provoking films that the industry is making our minds confused when seeing these complex experimental styles. Quickly, due to the negative reviews, the audience in this film are silenced by killing them, causing a police officer from the start to interfere with the main plot. The police officer breaks the film reality by telling the actors that nobody is watching and that they can finish. It's all fake. Within doing this and telling the actors it's all fake, again takes the audiences out of this reality. When it highlights though, as the power of audiences have over a film, as highlighted by Rachel Tustin, she states that audience drives every aspect of developing a theatrical performance, from casting directors, the development of narrative, as well as the success of the film. Films can be unique or brilliant, but if nobody's seen them, then what's the point? To 
me, box office and stuff do not matter, but when looking at headlines and success, it's what the trades and companies look at more. This could be a link into the, his first film, which was a flop as nobody saw it, or a link to how he advertised this film to make it more appealing for general audiences to watch, and then people finally seeing the final product. Before concluding here, there are a few more attacks on Hollywood. For example, the food that poisoned the spectators could be seen as a metaphor for the junk food we mindlessly consume while watching, or how the ending could be a swing at Hollywood's ongoing decision to produce sequels or reboots for no reason. In conclusion, there is so much more to talk about this film, but I'm hoping it gives you an insight into the film rubber and why it's such a complex experimental film that truly breaks the filmmaking rule book. Maybe even give it a watch.